All right, so let's take a look at my test bed and the modification that I'm ongoing here doing with that thing. Mm, the problem is that I have, uh, I'm pumping in a lot of power into my coils and usually my 0 0.7 coils, uh, that is 0 0.7 uh, diameter, millimeter in diameter, the Canthal A1 coils are breaking down at a frustrating rate um, and um, since I have some power consideration here uh, and I don't want to go into messing with it too much in transforming uh, powers around um, I want to keep it as simple as possible I am thinking about uh, some of those hints I've received from other people uh, about insulating the reactor and it of course it makes sense it's no big deal uh, what you do I mean if you have it exposed uh, you will have a lot of power just let out through uh, radi uh, radiative transfer and convection uh, that just makes the you know the heat and the power just fizz out in the chamber uh, so by putting this uh, aluminum oxide uh, brick on top here I machined out some uh, yeah, trails there for it to rest and this mullet piece uh, that will um, of course be the outer shell so it sits there and it becomes hot and radiant and it will then be contained the heat will be contained so hopefully it will not require as much power in. Uh, so I've machined it at least with uh, the intent to have uh, holes drilled in the sides here where I can insert um, thermocouplers, well like the ones you have there but this one is straight, this is the way it was supposed to or the way it looked looked in the beginning so I will have these going into those holes so I have like stationary points where uh, thermocouplers will uh, have the readouts from and it will always be the same because the grooves here I, the groove I put in here is like so that it will it will lock the reactor but it doesn't matter if it is like in this case here, it's, it's a, a double open variant where it has swag locks on both ends. I will, uh, for now, be doing work with uh, the one that is in manufacture. Well, when manufactured, is uh, blocked in one end, so it's just one opening in the tube. But it doesn't matter; it will fit in there because it will be locked in the uh, topmost end there. So that means that the reactor will be residing in the same place, there is, will be the same um, small rods inserted that will be the fillers and they will have the same size and same length and all that and all, all tubes, the core tubes, the stainless steel core tubes will have the same length. So hopefully this will allow for uh, a pretty much stationary way to measure those temperatures. I do intend to uh, open up a small hole here in between the two thermocouples there I guess somewhere here a hole in so as to allow for my uh, Wildcraft IR uh, uh, sensor here to also measure temperatures now you might uh, then argue that well then you open up a hole and it will fizz out that way oh well of course it will but it, it will fizz out anyway at some points but I will keep the hole small and hopefully it will still suffice because I do want to have that reading as well um, right uh, what is there else to say um, I think this will be 
a good start point to make uh, reliable and robust measurements. And I will obviously then begin with a, a new uh, calibration runs. I will also look over my feed of the power so I can um, be sure that I have a good understanding of what power I put in. So having a multitude, well multitude, but you know a number less perhaps than 10 but bigger than 5 uh, runs with uh, aluminum uh, oxide powder uh, just as such and maybe then a few with uh, uh, that and LAH to give some kind of reference points as to what to expect when do real measurements. So I have real calibrations with uh, some kind of, you know, inkling of error bars in that thing from a few measurements at least. Uh, yeah, so. I think we can end there. Nothing more to say, I guess. Okay, bye bye. Right, just to check in on the new test pad here. Uh, the regulator says it is uh, 1093 degrees in that oven in there. Uh, my pyro is a little bit more conservative, and I guess it doesn't really manage to measure it correctly. Um, the other uh, TC in there says about 1030 degrees, so some discrepancy there, but still. Uh, and um, right now I am using up 278 watts um, and I have more than a thousand degrees in there and you can see I, this is always hard to show but it's like a bright yellow light in there um, so it's a, it has to reach that temperature when you're know, just looking at it, it kind of hurts in your eyes if you look too 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 long at it. Let's see if I can <laughs> aim that camera a little bit. Ooh, oh, well, uh, not really. Yeah. Just to give you a little bit sense of what the other is trying to say there. 1030, like I said. Yeah. So I think uh, this new test bed is working out just fine. Bye bye.